Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Risk of Rain. I am Rarquaza, and today we're going to be continuing the, uh, you know, no death every character thing that I've not been, you know, doing every day, but instead have spread out over the course of several weeks. Uh, that, that keeps the, the mystique alive or something. Um, anyway, we're playing on Monsoon and Origin Artifact Active. We're, today is the Miner. Uh, I've always enjoyed the Miner. I think the Miner is a great class. I enjoy playing it. Um, I really hope that I didn't just miss the teleporter there. Miner's super great. I like the Miner a lot. Why am I killing this Lemurian? Probably because I haven't killed a Lemurian in a long time. I haven't actually played Risk of Rain in several days at the minimum. What's in here? Nothing. Uh, so, what I want with the Miner is anything that gives me a better chance of winning. So, I could have made it up there if I wasn't uh, terrible. Um, anything that gives me a better chance of winning. Damage, move speed, cooldown reduction, um, anything. You know how it goes. Healing, maximum health damage reduction. I don't know if I actually said that or not. Um, we got a Vagrant. Uh, it shouldn't be too difficult, this first stage. Probably. Uh, with Miner, you can kind of just sit inside here and do stuff like this. So this should be fine. This is what we'll do until the boss is dead. Uh, Vagrant is not a very difficult boss in general. Um, unless it's maybe an elite version. But, uh, yeah. So, I, I do want to talk about while I'm doing this. There's some things I need to address, and, uh... First and foremost, I think, is the fact that I haven't really up been uploading in, like, the past five days or so. Um, that's due to my own problems. I'm having some interesting life situations arising. Uh, Prison Shackles is not, like, super great. But... It, you know, it's not terrible. It's just kind of bad. I mean, it always hits, which is nice. Whenever we hit, it'll keep all the enemies grouped together, at the very least. If nothing else, it sort of serves a purpose, occasionally. Because it uh, slows down the enemies. But look at, like, the taser, which is a tier 1 thing. That one happens occasionally, true. I just missed it. Uh, it only happens occasionally, but uh, it also makes the enemies immobile entirely, so I don't know. Prison Shackles is pretty terrible for a tier 2 item, uh, considering, in my opinion. Uh, so I've been, yeah, there have been interesting life situations happening. I've been looking for uh, another job in real life, um, so that's been like a freaking hassle. Obviously not a fun time for me, and uh, that that has been one source of the reason why I haven't really been uploading recently. I'm going to get back to it, uh, starting like right now, ideally. Guardian Heart, okay, that's pretty good. Guardian Heart is great. I would love to get some more items though. I don't know if we're going to be able to get that Imp Shrine with any degree of accuracy. Oh, attack speed, that's good. I like that. Hmm, how do I want to do this? I guess we'll... We don't have any move speed, but... Oh no, we're not going to get it ever. There's no way. I have four seconds. Yeah, that's not going to happen. That's not good. <laughs> oh well. It's alright. Meat Nugget is uh, kind of bad. To be totally honest. Is there a chest over here? Am I just wasting my time? I think I'm just wasting my time. No, there's a shrine. I guess we'll play it since we came all this way. Um, we're doing okay on time. I'd love to get some more items. That's not really the item that I was looking for. We'll play it one more time. Nope. We got some crit, at least. I could have played the other shrine. We could have tried the uh, thing again, but whatever. I decided not to. Because I don't even know. Why? I guess this one was $47 too, so... Not a big loss. We're fine. It's all good. 
Uh, okay, so that aside, that being like life issues. Okay, $28 on that shrine. We could have played that one maybe more effectively. I guess it didn't matter because the next next one, next play on that would have been like the 56. Um, I, I recorded a Ziggurat episode and it ended up being an hour and 47 minutes long. And I don't think uh, that I'm going to ever be able to publish that episode because the rendering software that I use, both of the like backup, the rendering software and the backup rendering software that I use, um, they both the, the, the video file was too too large, too much data for it to handle. And I tried multiple different ways. I tried like trying to render it on a lower setting so that it could like, you know, not break. But uh, no luck. So that's probably never gonna happen. I don't know, I'm, I'm not giving up hope entirely, but I'm not super excited for the prospects there. Uh, this is kind of dangerous, actually. We're going to take it easy. I think we're going to go down here. Ow, like pain, pain, pain. Gonna grab these meat nuggets. We're gonna wait till our shield comes back, I think. There we go. I should be doing that, like, more often, anyway. Alright, just take it easy. We gotta kill these jellyfish. That's the main thing, I think. Okay, good. Kind of just waiting for this jellyfish to circle around here. Good, the jellyfish is dead. I am almost dead. Oh my god. Whew. Spicy. Yeah, definitely would like some uh, more healing. Move speed would be really nice. I don't know what else. I mean, anything really would help, but I don't know. Still, I think we're going to be able to survive here at the very least if I play it carefully. Oh man, come on. All right, well now we just have these dudes. There we go. All right. So the negative thing about getting this stage second is that we don't get as many items, theoretically, uh, just because it's, it is a smaller stage. Oh my god. Shockily. Just kill all these dudes. This is, uh, it's nice to have attack speed because we do... The miner's basic attack is, like, really powerful. Uh, when you can just spam it like that, so... There's a missile dude. Other than that, I think we're going to be able to do this pretty easily. Okay, missile elite. I wonder if we can kill it. Oh no, it's it's the uh, golem. Yeah, it's not going to be super easy. There's also this fire elite who's pretty annoying. Yeah, we're, we're gonna have no problems completing the level at least. Um, just gotta make sure that we get some, some items to reward us for this, otherwise we're gonna have some difficulty in future stages. Look at this golem. He's just having a party. Multiple golems, I guess. Golden gun, alright, I dig it. That is more damage. 
is always welcome. It's a great item. Um, so yeah, the Ziggurat episode that never went live. I don't know. I guess... If you've been following me on Twitter, I, I kind of explained what was happening. Um, if you don't don't follow me on Twitter, you can do that if you're interested in uh, hearing, like... That's, like, my one of my main channels of communication. You can email me, and I will also get those, but my I Twitter... I check my Twitter, like, whenever I'm on my computer. I have the tab open. It's, uh, it's a good... I have a good system. Okay. Let's kill these dudes. Um... I'm not seeing any items, so there better be items over here, otherwise it's not very good for us. Like seriously, where's our items? We got golden gun from the boss. Please drop something awesome. Imp Overlord Tentacle isn't terrible, it's just not like the greatest thing in the world. There's an item. There's some more items. Alright. At the very least, we have, like, a shrine. War Banner's good, actually. Very good. Um, for minor and other melee classes, War Banner is great, because you do generally want to keep the enemies in one location. Fire Shield's pretty freaking good, too. Ooh, and we're gonna take that, um, this fruit, foreign fruit, because that is super good for our health status. Some items up here. I think this level has definitely paid for itself. Head Stompers is probably best used. Like if you were to pick a class to put Head Stompers on. Oh my god, more attack speed. If you are to pick a class to put Head Stompers on, then uh, Miner is probably the best class to do that because his fourth ability gives you, you know, lets you jump high. Oh, Frost Relic. Okay, now we're cooking with Petrol. Frost Relic is great. And uh, if you are on a melee character and you have a Frost Relic, then things are gonna turn out well for you, I think. Also, if you're the miner and you didn't know about this, you can go down here and get the, uh, the Spite artifact. Um, you can also do that with, like, the Mersh... not the Mercenary. Yes, the mercenary. You can get it with the mercenary, I'm pretty sure. Um, and then I think the grenade from the bandit can also do it. There might be other people. Maybe the grenades from the engineer can do it, I'm not sure. In any case, we are on sunken depths here. Which is good if we find the teleporter early, because this stage's benefit is that it's smaller than the other stage. The other stage being... The Frost Valley. Oh, and our uh, our Imp Overlord tentacle buddy is d that that variant that like gives you cash when it attacks. So that's cool. It's pretty sweet. Best friend, good pal. All right. So we do want to find the teleporter. We are, time-wise, I think we're a little bit behind the time that we would like to be at. But, you know what? We actually do have a fairly good complement of items here. Um, so it's not, not terrible. Our situation. We hopefully should be able to make up some time, like, later, just due to our damage. Okay, what are we doing? Where should I, where should we spawn? Oh my god, that's a terrible spot. Okay, we're gonna not go up there. We're gonna approach that last. We're gonna have things not... Oh god, everything's spawning up there. Okay, let's go over here so that things spawn over here and we can deal with them, like, over in this corridor. Uh, I much prefer this area. You know, if this guy's just gonna drop money, then maybe we should just sit right here. Sit right here and I'll tell the story. About a little guy who lived in a blue world and all day and all night. No. Um, so the Imp Overlord is interesting. Occasionally you get this variant, occasionally like, I think you can get like a speed variant, but look at all this money. Oh, there's our warp banner. Yeah. Oh man, the grinder. 
Oh man. Yeah. But uh, the variants like switch, and I'm not sure if it's like every level or a certain amount of time. We got a second war banner. That was really fast. Our attack speed is also very good. Very, very good. Yeah, we can't just uh, murder our way through all this. Yeah, we're uh, we're doing really well. Oh god, it's a blighted. Okay, be careful. That's all. Blighted sand crab, triple the damage of regular elite sand crabs. That is uh, like one shot or two shot territory. Uh, so I'm gonna be super cautious about it. I'm just, I'm gonna play super cautiously because I don't want to die. Uh, we can let the grinder do work. See, now our, our Imp Overlord is dead. Maybe it died, maybe that's the condition. God, this guy's spooky. Sand crabs and golems are like the spookiest Lighted enemies. Very spooky. Oh, I missed. That's okay. Just play it safe here. It'd be nice if we could get a like a rusty jetpack or something too. Um, that would help a lot. Oh my God, he's switching it up. Take it easy. Oh, hey, and see, we got... That's another one. Another one just spawned and said, you know, whatever he just said. But he's gonna kill our dude for us, actually. If we just sit here. Yeah, look at that. Dead. Very interesting. I don't know. I don't, I'm... The Imp Overlord Tentacle has always been a... Kind of a mysterious power-up. Uh, apparently we have enemies on the top, but that's fine. We want to go up there anyway. Oh, Shattered Mirror is a great, great item. Um, I don't want it, though, because... I, I think the Foreign Fruits give us, gives us the best chance for survival. It doesn't give us the most damaging. Uh, you know, that's probably the most damaging item that we could grab. But, uh... No, don't go over there. Come on. The only thing that I really want from this guy is for him to not drop an item inside the ceiling. That would that would be nice. Woo! Spice. Okay, charge field generator. Oh my god. Yeah, this is like super great. Frost relic. And charge field generator are uh, two of like the most powerful on kill effects in the game, especially if you can keep them stacked. And they feed each other too, right? So <laughs> it's like super good. Red whip is great. I'll take it. Um, when we're not doing stuff, that just means the only thing I don't like about red whip is that I can't do my you know dashes because I like to do dashes as the minor. Um, and other classes that have dashes, uh, but you can't do those, otherwise you lose the red whip effect, because that's an attack. Oh, baby. Yeah, that's, uh, that's really good. Can we just stand right here? Yeah, we can. Nice. Not really interested in drones. It's not a terrible item, it's just I don't want it. Basically. Uh, there's another... thing over here, I believe. And now that we run really fast, we can basically do whatever we want. So that's good. Oh! That's pretty good. It's not as good as, like, I made it sound with my mouth noise there. Ooh, that's pretty good, though. Har Leeching Seed and Harvester Scythe. It's like a great combo. Because uh, you have the best of both worlds. 
Plus, Harvester Scythe gives you some crit as well. Which is nice. Um, I don't think... We, yeah, that's, that's about it. Pretty sure we got everything. Can't get that chest. Boop. There we go. Uh, so anyway, if you if you care about my Ziggurat series, that that uh that episode, okay, Magma Barracks is interesting. This this is where things are make or break. I think we'll be fine though. Um, ooh, I should have gone down though. I'm not gonna open these canisters anymore either, because they can contain health for the cremator fight, assuming that I have one. Um, but the, the Ziggurat episode that I recorded was, like, my best episode yet, of course, you know? It wouldn't, it wouldn't be long without me doing well, right? But, uh, yeah. So that, that really is just kind of, makes me a little bit angry. I think our elite is a, or our, our, uh, infant guard overlord tentacle buddy is a shock elite too. Kind of interesting. Alright, here we go. Oh, whoops. Oh, sweet! Yeah, this is gonna be no problem. Never mind. I take everything back forever. So, there's two options here. We can not kill... Yeah, I'm probably not gonna kill the, uh, the imp, or the boar, rather, yet. I'm gonna let it summon uh, Borlitz so that we can keep our crazy train alive. Going off the rails on this crazy train. Um, oh yeah, there's the war banner. Just don't lose it. We need more, more enemies. Maybe I'll try and spread out the kills a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I, I'm not even doing anything right now. Um, anymore. I, I do a couple of attacks now and then, but I'm just trying to make sure... Oh, I don't want to lose this charge field generator. Is basically my... Ooh! Spicy Borlitz. Maybe I will actually keep attacking here. Yeah, we're, we're not going to lose here. Uh... Yeah. So... In order to, like, make things like that... Okay, we're going to kill this boar. Boxing gloves is actually, like, not very useful at all. Um, but in order to make things... Like, to render videos that are that length, or that file size, in the future, um, I'd require, like, getting a new, an upgraded, like, rendering software. Editing, video editing, editing software. Um, and something, like, what I'm looking at for things that I want in that, that vein is, like, uh, like $300 for, like, Sony Vegas or something. And I just do not have the funds right now to do that. So I'm not going to be able to... <laughs> I don't even know if I'm going to ever be able to upload that video, but... It's, it's quite a shame. If I... When I play Vig Ziggurat again, it'll I'll have to explain, I guess. Um, I don't know. It just makes me mad. And then that, that led me trying to figure out how to upload that video turned into like a week of me not uploading videos. Oh my god! Trying to freaking ruin my run. Kidding me? Oh well, it had to happen sometime. The enemy is vigilant, but we must be more vigilant. Yeah, we're on our third soldier syringe. That's like real fast attack speed. Uh, not really interested. I don't really want to play it again either. It's kind of expensive. Oh.
Uh, barbed wire is okay. I'll take it for sure. Now we got some crit stacks from the snake eyes as well. And I think we'll just leave. Oh, I missed. Oh my god. Almost critical failure there at falling down that second shoot. Oh my god. Please. <laughs> I made this jump the first time. What the heck? Maybe my attack speed. No, it was just my timing. Um, I missed that jump the first time, though. There we go. I, I don't actually... I didn't check if there was anything up at the top there. Not that it matters that much, but... I think we're on track to win the game. Um, I'm not too worried. Things could always... I could always die, though. That's, like, something that can happen. Especially on the last stage with all the, uh... All the crap. There's the teleporter. Awesome. Two tier two chests as well. No health shrines over here. Which is kind of a disappointment, but whatever. Alright, let's do it! Ooh. Four. Alright. So, how about we go down here? And then we go down here, and then we let, hopefully, things spawn down here. And then we can kill them down here. That's my plan. Plan of attack. We should have no problem with any flying enemies. We have so much damage. Um... And then, like, our, our area damage, right, our on-kill stacks here are just ludicrous, so I have no problem in that department. Yeah, this is just carnage. Just good old-fashioned, ridiculous damage. I don't even know what the enemies that I'm killing are when they're on the ground here. Woo! Oh, no. I'm gonna lose it. No. <laughs> Wait. Darn it. I think I lost it. Oh, yeah, I did. That's okay. I shouldn't have fallen down. It's alright. It doesn't actually matter all that much. We're gonna win here fairly easily. Oh, I should be careful of my health. I, these, these clay men hurt, especially when they're like elites. Oh, I missed. Okay, we're gonna lose it again. Oh, we're on remaining enemies too, so... That's cool. Fireman's Boots is, you know, it's it's nifty, I guess. It's not, you know, super a big deal. Alien Head is, like, one of my favorite items in the game, so that's really good. Especially on any class, uh, like uh, Mercenary or Miner, that have the invincibility frames on their abilities. Um, it's just, like, super good. It's completely removing... The amount of time in between your attacks, that's great. It ups your damage, it ups your survivability, it ups your options, you know. And I haven't even been using my abilities really, but uh, now I guess I should. These guys are gonna roll off, yeah. Alright, uh, let's go get some items. There should be some items over to the right. It's a pretty big stage, we've only covered like the left side, the temple side here. 
Um, I'll take Tough Times, and I'll take Ancient Scepter. Ancient Scepter turns this uh, To the Stars into Starbound, um, which I'm pretty sure is just a reference straight up to uh, Chucklefish's... Oh my god. I don't even know what a second Ancient Scepter does. I'll take that as well. Okay, we've gotten some <laughs> crazy upgrades. Uh, but it turns it into uh, Starbound, which is just more shots. Um, so, that's good. You know, no complaints there. I don't know what a second Ancient Scepter does. Uh, well, okay, I meant to take the... Meant to take the Crit Glasses there, but that's okay. Yeah, we're doing... Oh my god! I'm not even gonna, like, mess with that, actually. I don't think. It might disappear, actually, so maybe we can just wait. I don't want to mess around with jumping over it. We could make it. I just don't want to fail and then, like, quit my run because of it. Is it gonna disappear? No, I guess not. I think we have... I think that's an omen, then. That we shouldn't go that way. We have already received such gifts. Um. So, yeah. Let's just kill the rest of these three dudes. And move on. Make sure I hit the right button on the... Bava, your new hand. So this one looks like an explosive imp, if I had to guess. Yeah. Oh, come on. Don't fall down. Oh. Of course he has to go all the way down to the bottom. I did, I did shoot a missile off there, but that's just funny. So on the next stage, um, we want to probably get a level up in the boss room. Uh, try to do that. Shouldn't be too hard. Just might take a little bit. Because I do, I do like my my war banners in the boss room. That is a favorite of mine. Okay, which button are we pressing? Gotta make sure. Q to teleport to the final level. This button right here is the Q button. We, in fact, passed that logic test. Um, we can unlock Hand E. If we want. Ooh, there's a goat hoof right there. We're gonna hit this button. That is how you unlock Handy. You open that storage crate. Um. Yeah, our damage is great. If we could get up to like the money cap for Golden Gun, that would be great. But I also want to. I would like to buy items. So I don't know. We'll see. There's so many missile elites. Oh my god. There's another key card though. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. Yeah, we're doing crazy huge damage, actually. Like just really good damage. We're actually keeping our war banner alive just on random enemies. Well, as I say that, and not war banner, uh, charge field generator, but you get the picture. Got it memorized. I don't need that. We're just gonna, we'll activate the door as soon as possible. Uh, just so that we do have the ability to go inside when we need to, to level up. There's lots of golden chests. Oh man. We do also have two key cards. So we'll use our abilities here. And with Alien Head, you can kind of just cycle through them, and by the time that you get back around... 
Um, if you do it in the consistent pattern. Oh my god. But, uh, you can pretty much always have an ability going. Lost the odd kill effects. It's okay, we're doing good. Just need to be cautious. Playing a melee class is always kind of spooky because if you if you do make a mistake, then it can be painful trying to recover. Oh, hello. Lighted enemies are possible vectors of mistake. There are a few of them here. Spooky. I do need to be careful about my experience right now. Oh my god. <laughs> so we're gonna hang out probably right here. God damn it, imp. Friend. Like, look at the blighted Clayman's health right there. That's crazy. I need to... Not let him level me up. Uh oh, I might level up here. Let me in. Okay, I'm fine. We're good. Okay. Now we can safely level up. We're almost there, too. I don't know how we're gonna do it. I guess... Where's our imp friend? Sometimes he can't come in here. Which is weird, but, uh... I wonder if I can, like, do this and get the kill on... on that elite there. Go! Oh, not quite. Okay, the next elite that I kill here should do it, so... Ow, they hurt pretty bad. Okay, be ready. Go, 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 go. Go. Oh, not yet. Okay, so it is going to be... Oh, yes! Perfect. Thank you, based missile. All right, so now we can, uh, we can do whatever we please here. Whatever we please is probably going to involve um, killing some more enemies so that we can have some money. Um, but it, it looks like I'm going to need like a little bit more than $6,000 to get Golden Gun fully maxed. So above, above $6,000 is what I'd like to go. I'd like to get full Golden Gun going into the final fight here can also grab some other stuff. Uh, I guess, you know what, we don't actually need anything else, so I might just do it. We could open this golden chest, but then we'd have to farm for another year. So I guess we'll just uh, head to the medical bay, pick up the insta-heal box. Um, see if there's anything in these canisters, or these health kits. You can get, like, soldier syringes in here. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, see, that was totally worth it. It's always worth coming in here. It's the best bay. If you only have one keycard, go to the med bay. If you have two keycards, go to the med bay. If you have three, then you can start to consider going to the med bay first and then other stuff. Oh, I dashed the wrong way, darn it. Um, we only have two, though. So I'm thinking we just go into this place up here and grab the... the diggly bob. 
headshot machine. Oops. Um. You know what? I want this tier 2 chest. Screw all these, like, random military chests. They hardly ever drop anything that I want. And we might we can kill some stuff. I'm feeling like killing some stuff. Because I want to. Murdering innocents. It's one of the uh, duties. Max health increase. That's actually very useful, considering that we've had uh, not no infusion or other bitter roots or any anything. All right. Let's go beat the final boss, and then we'll get out of here. One second. We'll turn frame zoom scale. There we go. This is not going to be a difficult fight. Look at our attack speed in this. This is silly. is just silly. Plus we have like life on hit and stuff. Ooh, okay, that makes it interesting. I dig that. Plus we'll get another item. Gasoline is like basically zero help at this point. That's okay. Oh my god. That hurt. Providence. Why you do this? My max health is not very high. Oh my god, yeah. I was not dodging correctly there. What is that guy doing? Do you see that? There's a shock elite out there. What is he doing? Oh my god. <laughs> Providence. Don't do that. I don't have that much health. I'm actually gonna like wait till my freaking Ooh. shield regenerates ideally. So that we can like withstand a hit here. Cause no matter what your health is, if you have um, Guardian Heart active, you can't take health damage from one hit, so it will block the first hit. That is the true benefit of the Guardian Heart, even though it's only like 100 max health. Which in our case is actually pretty substantial considering that we only, we only have 750 HP. Alright, Gilded Worms shouldn't be an issue. We have lots of move speed, which is actually really useful for dodging these guys. Plus, the, uh, the miner's basic attack is like his huge area around his body hitbox. So it hits like many segments. We didn't see a single magma worm during this entire fight, this entire game. Look at the damage. Our damage is very good. Oh, ow. Don't do that. I've lost four banner. Get me in here. At attack speed. Yes. Curl in on yourself. That's the best strategy so that I can hit more segments.
Okay, I should probably deal with these guys. Before we get too excited here. We now have lots of money. Whoa! Ow, that was one of these balls. Don't do this to me, Providence. Thank you. Okay, now we have... This guy. That just means you gotta be careful. We're actually kind of in a... Okay, don't get hit by the slam or the stun. Okay, go back into the charge field. Ow. That actually hurt a lot less than regular Providence. That was interesting. I had my shield down. Spicy here. <clears throat> oh, we're gonna be fine. Uh oh, don't do it. Take it easy. We do have uh, foreign fruits that's providing backup for us if we get hit by one of those skulls or something. That, that attempted stun, that was very clever. Yes, we've never seen that trick before. Oh. Uh, whoop. Alright. Well, that should be about it for this story. As long as I don't stand inside the pink stuff. GG Providence. And that's it! We did it! Miner is done! And so he left adrenaline still rushing through his beans. GG. We'll turn this to that. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe. I would also like to thank you guys. Like, seriously, thank you so much, those of you who stuck around um, through all of this. I, I recently got to 15,000 subscribers, like, total, and that's pretty... Like, I'm not a big milestone guy, but that's a pretty cool milestone. Um... I kind of am a big milestone guy, so don't listen to me. I, I do enjoy it. Uh, I try to not overly focus on that kind of stuff. But it is nifty to see the see that sometimes. So I, I do thank everyone who's supported me um, in any way. You know, by liking a video, that helps a great deal. Subscribing, that helps. Um, just watching, you know, being there watching my videos, is that that's like the basis of YouTube, you know? So... Uh, that that's really great and then those of you who've also donated to me I appreciate that as well uh, very much so uh, thank you guys so much for all that you know you've given me and I hope to continue making videos on a semi-consistent rate and even more once uh, my girlfriend and I move out which is actually like due to the lifetime life problems that are happening maybe I don't know it's going to be we're just gonna happen sometime I mean you know but who knows when so 
Anyway, I, I will see you guys in another video, and uh, take it easy. Bye-bye. Mm,